here and welcome to 2015. I've got a ton of good videos coming up this year, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any. In this particular video, we're going to be taking leftover Christmas candy that we got in our stocking. If you watched my Christmas haul video, then you know that I got these from Santa in my stocking to make candy trains. And he left a little note to let us know how to make them using the candy that is behind me here. And I wanted to do this before we got too far away from Christmas. So yeah, let's get started and we'll show you what you need. Okay everyone, so like Lammy mentioned, we're gonna be making candy trains. And just so you know what they look like, we're gonna insert a picture right here in this area, right there, and you will be able to see what they're going to look like. Now, if you do not have these exact candies from your leftover Christmas candy, you could also use leftover Halloween candy if you have any left. Um, don't worry about it. Find something round, find something that could work for wheels, find something that could work for the smokestack. It doesn't have to be these exact candies. So just see what you have around your house and go from there. So the other supplies that you are going to need is glue. So you, there's different options that you can do for glue. You can use a glue gun like we have here. Um, but if you use this, make sure you get your parents' help because the glue is very hot because this gun melts the glue. So if you use a glue gun, make sure you get your parents' help and be very careful you don't burn yourself. Otherwise, you could use just a regular white school glue, um, but this would take longer to dry. Um, if you have any other kind of craft glue, then go ahead and use that. But I must warn you, if you are using a hot glue gun, please be very careful and get your parents' help. So according to the instructions that Santa left, we need to have the supplies and then it tells us what each one of the things does. So thank you to Santa for leaving us that note. So basically it says the first thing that we have to do is use the lifesavers as the base of the train. So this is the main part of the train. And here we have butter rum and we also have wild cherry. We're just gonna sit those to the side because we're gonna use the rainbow um, five flavored roll. So we have that and then it says to use the peppermints for the wheels. So those will go on the side like wheels. And then it says to use the Hershey Kisses for the smokestack and you would sit them up like that and then this little piece of paper here would look like the smoke coming out. Then we have the mini Hershey bars um, and the different flavors and things and these will be used to build up um, the rear part of the train. So uh, let's get started. Okay everyone, so we're going to actually get into the gluing part now that I've explained all the pieces. Now in hindsight, I think we're going to use the longer tube of um, candy because you can see how much longer it is and I think that it would give us more room to play with the different kind of candies. So the first thing is we have seen some pictures online and what you can do is take a stick of gum and put along the bottom here, but we did not receive any gum from Santa. So we are not going to be doing that part, but we are going to be taking these um, candies like this and sticking them on the sides. And what that does is that creates the wheels. So whatever kind of glue you're using, it can be hot glue, like I mentioned, just be very careful. Also be very careful um, that hot glue, I don't know if it will go through the wrapper and get to the candy. So I'm not too sure about that, but... This is just the glue that we're gonna be using for the sake of the video because it will be quicker this way. Now you can take these candies um, apart after a while and you can take them apart and you can actually eat them. So none of this candy is going to go to waste because all you have to do is pull it all apart and then eat them. So it's um, actually a pretty simple thing. So right now I am just putting a little dab of glue on um, each end because this creates the wheels and then you just press down and hold it down a little bit like that and then it's glued see and then we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna do the same on the other side put a dab of glue doesn't take a lot either which is nice dab of glue we're gonna sit that one down like that hold it for a moment and then move on to the other wheel so then there is your wheels on your train and it just sits up like that. 
So if you had the stick of gum, it would help with the stability of it. It would help a little bit. But um, I mean, I think that it works just fine even without it. So there you have that. Now we're gonna move on to rest of the candy. So the front of the train, we're gonna have be right over here. Right here is gonna be the front of the train. And I am going to put this Hershey Kiss right here with this little paper sticking up because that acts as the smoke. So that is gonna go right there. Let me glue that. We'll dab a glue there. And we're gonna sit that right there. Simple enough, right guys? Okay, so here's the thing. If you use any type of craft glue that does not dry very fast, such as um, just regular white school glue, I would suggest that you give these things a little bit of time to dry before you move on to the next step, otherwise they'll be sliding around. Um, like for example, this one right here actually needs more glue on it because it's not very secure. So if that ever happens, if any of your candy isn't very secure, just go back in and add a little dab more of glue and um, stick it on there and it'll be just fine. All right, so there we have the base. So we're going to move this excess candy out of the way. All right, so I've zoomed in a little bit more. So here is our train so far. Now what we're going to do is we're going to need several of these little candy bars. These are little, little Hershey candy bars. They just come in a uh, variety pack. That's what Santa brought us. And these are going to lay right here like this. Now this is the reason why we wanted to use the longer um, lifesaver thing because if you put this here, you only have that much space to put the Hershey Kiss, so it's not very long. So we decided that we were going to use the longer Hershey, or the longer uh, lifesaver, so that way we had more space to put these little mini candy bars. So um, there's that. So we are going to now put a dab of glue right there. You can also put it on the back of the candy bar like that, so you know that you have it where you want it. And then that is going to get put right there. Have it line up with the back of the roll. All right, now I'm gluing on the second one. The second one just goes like that. So that's how that goes. And then the third one is going to be popped onto the back. This would be more helpful if you actually put the glue onto the candy bar before sticking it on the back. That way you'll know exactly where you're getting your glue. All right, so we have our glue on the back and we're just gonna stick that right onto the back of those two candy bars that we have right there. So it's just right on the back and then I'm just gonna hold it for a minute. Just make sure it's secure because the next step you're gonna need to make sure um, is right. Now, if you get on Google Images, there are so many different variations that you could do on these trains. So it does not have to look exactly like ours. You can use different kinds of candy. If you get online and look at the images, you will see all sorts of different um, options for what we're doing here. So don't feel like you have to do exactly how we're doing it. All right, so I wanna have this up here. So this, is, this would be like where the people would be sitting in the train. So I wanna kinda do that kind of thing. So what I'm gonna do is take my glue gun, put a little bit of glue on here. So I'm gonna put glue there, and I'm also gonna put a dab of glue here on the end of this one. I want a lot of glue because you're gonna need it secure so it doesn't droop. So I'm gonna sit that there like that, and I'm gonna hold it for a second. And just make sure it's nice and secure. Now hot glue, the good thing about using it is it dries, um, it doesn't dry instantly, but it, it doesn't take as long to dry as regular school glue. And there you have your own little train. So let me zoom in really close so you can see. All right guys, so there you go. You get a good view now. That is what the train looks like. So you got your wheels. I'll just turn it around so you can see it from all sides. There's the back. And then there's the other side. See, like that. Now you could do any variation you want of this. It does not have to look exactly like ours does. Okay, and there's the front. And then what I like to do is if you take this paper and kind of bend it backwards, it looks like the train is moving and the smoke is going backwards, see? So anyway guys, there's your candy train. Hey Lammy, come take a look at this. So I just love it, it's so adorable. Could you imagine a bunch of these lined up? You could use these at a party, give them out to friends at school. I just think that it's adorable.
adorable. I just love it. It's so, it's so cute. I just want to eat it all up. Now remember guys, we're not wasting food here because you could take this apart and eat the candy inside the wrapper. If you guys have made these before or if you're going to make them, be sure to send me pictures of your recreations on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. All those links are in the description box below so you can follow me on all that social media. I'm very active on there, especially on Facebook and um, Instagram. So yeah, there you go guys. I just love it. It just looks good enough to eat. Haha. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna let that thing choo-choo right into my mouth. Choo-choo-choo-choo-choo. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> anyway guys, I hope you're having a great new year. I will be doing a video because a few of you have been asking what my new year's resolutions are. So I will be doing a video about that very soon, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything. I plan on doing a lot of cool things for 2015, guys. I want to make this the year of the lamb. I know I've said that before, but I'm serious. So anyway, guys, yeah, there it is. Let me know what you think in the comments below. One of my resolutions, I'll give you a hint, um, a little sneak peek, is that I want to start um, talking to you guys more, like in the comments section and messages and things like that. So leave me a comment below and I will do my best to respond. So anyway, guys, I'll talk to you next time. Happy New Year!